Welcome back everybody. Uh, real quick, this video we're going to talk about blending fuel uh, specifically for a MPT more power tuning um, E30 blend uh, race tune I think it was. Um, but real quick, it's been a crazy summer. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, we are in a new place now as you can see the LS swap Camaro uh, made it over here. Still chipping away at it and haven't had a whole bunch of time to keep working on it but um, for all my new subscribers and everything, thanks for sticking with me. Um, this project is still going. There will be more videos coming soon. But in this video, I wanted to talk about um, blending fuel because uh, I did get to take the truck out and run it in the uh, quarter mile. And I've got some time slips to show you the difference between stock and tuned. So right now we're in the new garage. We're going to go down below to the new shop and uh, I'll show you how to blend some fuel. Okay, so more power tuning, a custom E30 tune in a 2013 F-150 that's missing the EcoBoost badge, but it is a 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, tune only. Now, you're going to have to take my word for it because the first go around, I ran the truck bone stock. It ran a best time of 1501. The only thing I did different when I ran it this summer was tune only. And here's my slips. I got two of them I managed to find. 1346. And this was my best of the day. Even though I lost. 1341. So over a second and a half improvement. Tune only. That's amazing. And that right there makes blending the fuel worth it. Alright, so first things first, right here is a little ethanol tester. Got this bad boy off of Amazon for I think 10 bucks or whatever. If you look at the markings on here, they're kind of hard to see. This one had better reviews because it was all etched in there. But it's got 10%, 20%, 70, and 85. Well, we're aiming for 30. And obviously that doesn't have a 30 mark, but if you measure that out... The spacing's the same all the way up to 70, so even though it's not actually marked, we can still get really close with our 30% blend. So, first thing you got to do, it's pretty simple, it says right on here. There's a line right here, you fill it up with water, and then you fill it the rest of the way up with gasoline. So, I've got a little bottle of water here. A little bit too much, we'll just dump some out until we get to the right mark. Look at that, that's pretty close. And now, you fill it the rest of the way up with gasoline. Now, I just poured some in this aerosol can lid to make it easier to get in there. And the gas that I am testing right now is advertised 93 octane premium from the local BP. And the reason why it is so important to test this is that even... 93 octane straight out of the pump is going to have ethanol in it. So, I don't have any marks below the 10%. See, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have shook it. We're going to let that settle for a second. And then we'll still have our pure gas up here. And the water will be at the bottom. And there will be a little layer in there where that ethanol and that water uh, blended. And then we'll have an idea of what our ethanol content is of this particular fuel. Okay, so I kind of let this settle down for a second. It's probably really hard to see, but you can see the level on there. That is, you can see there's a little bit on there, but it's right at the water line. So that water line is actually zero. And then you have your 10%, 20% on top of that. So this fuel according to this tester is actually ethanol free maybe just a scotch in there but 
the level really didn't go up from where the water was anyway so right there tells me that that 93 octane doesn't have any ethanol in it and it's important to test that because the first go around that I did this I went and got a little sample that 93 and I went up the road to the next gas station and I got a little sample of the E85 well the 93 actually tested like 7% ethanol just by eyeballing it and the E85 actually tested only 70% so if you're going off the assumption that your premium fuel has no ethanol and that your E85 is in fact 85% that case it would have been wrong so after testing it I knew the exact content of the fuel that I was putting in the truck and just by simple math it actually worked out that 10 gallons of 93 and 5 gallons of E85 uh, came out to almost a dead on 30% given the numbers that I had and I don't remember exactly what it was but it worked out pretty good and then for me with my truck I ended up actually pulling the fuel line off of it and running the fuel pump with a scan tool and completely drain the tank and then I had three five gallon cans the 15 gallons worth of fuel that I put in the truck which is perfect to get to the drag strip and run it um, which that part gets kind of complicated I did it twice the second go around the truck was almost on E and I kind of knew what kind of fuel I had in it to begin with so I just used basically the same formula where I did five gallons of E85 and 10 gallons of 91. Now don't, you have to test it yourself. Don't go off the numbers I'm getting because this batch of fuel I just tested of that same 93 is now testing zero where before it tested like seven to eight percent ethanol blend. So it changes, it varies. And that's where it does get to be kind of a pain in the butt, but. I'm not racing this thing every weekend, every night, so it's not really that much work. So anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Um, we're getting things settled here at the new place, and once we do, I want to start hitting the videos pretty hard. I want to get the car done. I want to keep doing stuff with the truck. Also, we got some other goodies. I don't know if you noticed the RC cards back here. There's just an endless amount of fun. Um, that uh, could be had and things, uh, good content, fun video, stuff like that, that we're going to do, especially with the kids and all that. But got to get things settled a little bit. Hopefully things around the world will get settled a little bit and we can get back to having some fun. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Dead gummit, stay good. We'll see you later.